Hey, so um, I'm just sitting in traffic right now, just heading back home. Welcome back again. Um, I forgot my sunglasses at home uh, and I want to eat breakfast and I don't want to pay for it because I'm being cheap right now. So just gonna head back home, grab my sunglasses and then we're gonna go head over to Jason's place and uh, finish up the painting. Maybe we'll do a new one, we're not sure. Um, yeah, we'll see you in a minute. All right, I have breakfasted, I am sunglassed, and I am beatered. So, um, I guess I'm gonna head over to Jason's place now. Uh, I hope he's awake. I just texted him. We'll see. All right, see you there. Hey, um, sorry, so uh, the camera died shortly after our little time lapse. Um, I'm filming this the next day. As you can see, my beater is a different color. But fear not, uh, the final product looks like this. So, uh, if you want to study it in more detail, I will link uh, a link down below. You guys can click on it and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, uh, Jason didn't feel a bit well, so um, unfortunately we had to cut it uh, short yesterday. But fear not, we are actually meeting again today to work on a smaller canvas. Uh, so uh, round two, here we go. Hey, so we just uh, picked up two canvases at Opus. Uh, we're going to find lunch now and then we're going to paint, so <sighs> yeah, it's going to be fun again. All right, see you guys soon. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. Uh, we bought two canvases, and uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to uh, paint one separately each person and then switch around. We'll see how many times. But yeah, canvases, stuff, that's Jason. So we'll see. This will be fun. I realized I was flipping the camera inside my hand, but <laughs> All right, well, uh, we will talk again once we finish the first round when we switch maybe we can even explain what we did ah. uh, we finished our first first thing so this is Jason's I'll show you that's what Jason did so Jason what was your thing you just want to just cover it in some color first I just want to get a ground down and dress the whole canvas right away. Ah, see. And then this is mine. I have no idea. Um, why? I want a color. So we're going to switch now. Alright Jason, we're done second round. How do you feel? A little confused. Yeah, same here. I have no idea. I, I feel like the cool thing is that we never have any idea what's going to actually happen. But anyways, if you guys want to see, so this is what I did to Jason's thing. So I added a bunch of different random colors. I don't know. We use palette knives. I realized that from this perspective, it's not very straight. And I kind of wanted it to be like straight, but um, too bad. <laughs> and this is Jason's. Oh, palette knives are awesome. So um, we went for a walk and then came back. And then uh, we worked on, I guess we, we passed it back to the original owners and we worked on it again, so, uh, yeah, so, Jason, how'd you feel? I feel better now. Yeah, so, um, for you, for those of you who don't know, we use palette knives for the second and third, uh, and, uh, yeah, so we just kind of went through it. So, I think Jason really likes figures right now, right? So, uh, his one is this one right here. So, you can see it's a, well, it's a human form. But that's what like the, the palette knife does. You can see like the little textures and stuff. Really, really cool. And you mentioned like it was like similar to some some artist that you know or you're, yeah, you know, someone John work. Brown. Okay. And then for me, it was more I guess what we considered abstract. I don't know. I just felt like adding on black and white because I guess that's the only two colors that I can definitely know that are black and white. All the other colors I'm kind of confused about. But that's pretty cool. That's what we did. That's awesome. I helped doing that. Ha! Huh. So, for those of you who want to do stuff, you guys should try it out. Probably find someone who also knows how to do things, like Jason. Um, yeah, if you guys want to see some of his stuff, uh, I'll have links uh, underneath. Um, yeah, support his work and check out what he's doing. Uh, you're heading back to school soon, right? So, 
soon. Yeah, so unfortunately he's not going to be here, which kind of sucks, but uh, hopefully once he's back, like if he's visiting, we'll try for another shot in doing this. But this was really fun. I hope to do some more new stuff uh, in the future. We'll see you guys around. We're actually uh, pressing the paintings together um, in hopes that the residue from each one will kind of, I guess, transfer over. So this is what we're doing right now. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. So we have no idea. I feel like because there was a lot of splotches on uh, Jason's one where like maybe we'll uh, kind of like add some texture to each other. I don't know. We'll see. Whoa, look at that. Cool. That's awesome. I think so. Who knows? <laughs> Who really knows? Oh, that's awesome. That's nice. So now you know for sure that these two paintings have to be together because if you press them together, then you'll see the splotches. So I'm saying, ah, oh, so cool. This is nice. That's awesome. I'll take a picture and I'll send you guys, I'll show it to you guys in the link below. Bye.